it's lovely to speak to you. Um, your your two characters are probably two of my favourite characters in the series. Uh, can you tell us? Can you tell us um, uh, a little bit about them and how you feel representing those two characters? Honoria is she's quite different to me. She's very straight laced, doesn't put a toe out of line, and is very she's just very sort of different wouldn't want to go and you know climb a tree and get grubby knees which is two of my favorite things to do um it was really fun to it was really fun to to portray someone as socially different as me um but obviously she doesn't you know she she doesn't feel love any differently than anybody else and it was nice to fall in love with you <laughs> Um, love that. Yeah, Mabel is a bit of a wild card. She doesn't really conform and she just kind of dances to her own beat. And I think I do that. As yes, well. you do. Yeah. <laughs> um, lots of people hold this book the on which the series has been set, um, uh, based on really closely to their hearts. And uh, was it really did did you go back and read the book while you were uh, once you knew you would um you would be part of the the series? So I did, yes. I wasn't actually familiar with the book beforehand, um, especially because it is the original novel by Enid Wharton is unfinished. It's not a completed it's not a completed manuscript. So I didn't really know about it. But once in preparation, I think we had about ten days, maybe a little over two weeks to to get to get ready and everything. Um, and during that time, I, I I made sure I went back and I I was already familiar with the manuscript once I found out that I got the job. But I I really wanted to to re familiarize myself with with it as much as possible. So I did go back and I listened to it on audiobook. Um, but the show is quite different than the book. So actually it probably, uh, yeah, it, it uh, I, I'm not sure how much of that actually <laughs> helped my character at least towards the end of it. Yeah, I didn't. One of our executive producers, Beth, said, she said not. She was like, you don't have to read it. Don't read it. And that was enough for me because <laughs> I'm, I, I have become a bigger reader since the show, but I did hear it was very different and she thought it was going to confuse me, I think. Hmm. Mia probably has much better comprehension skills than I do. No, sh um, sh stop it. <laughs> yeah, but I am, yeah, glad that we got to honor something as special as that book was to so many people. There's bound to be uh, the comparisons between this and Bridgerton. Um, how does that make you feel? And what are the differences, do you think, between your show and Bridgerton, if you've seen Bridgerton at all? I mean, I'm obsessed with Shonda Rhimes, so anything she does is amazing. <laughs> but something that I love about our show that I feel like has made it a bit easier for me to consume, because I think I struggle with period dramas a lot, is sometimes the characters feel so far away. But I love how like we modernize the characters with these elements that don't feel like it takes you out of the period. But if anything, I think it brings you closer um, to the audience and, and makes them more relatable because... We talk about things, whether it's sexual orientation or misogyny or sexual assault and all of these topics that didn't just come up in 2023 and they've been happening for, you know, several years. And of course, we do all that while still like being fun and like having a good time. So, yeah, I agree. I think that it's um, I think that it's it was really it was it was really kind of fulfilling to be part of something that um, that did, you know, draw attention to the fact that just because people lived in, you know, 1870 something, uh, it doesn't mean that they had no any less human problems yeah. than we do currently now. They just happened in slightly different ways and they spoke a little bit differently. Um, yeah. and, and socially things were just a lot different than they are now. Um, but I think it was, you know, real world things like um, assaults or identity um, and friendships as well. Of course, they did all happen at those times. They just weren't really talked about um, in the way that I think that we've been able to do that. So I'm happy that I'm I'm happy that I think we've been able to do that in a contemporary way.
Finally, congratulations on such a fantastic show, and I'm absolutely hooked. Uh, <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> finish these interviews and go back and, and watch the rest of it. It's fantastic. Thank you very Thank much. Thank you. Have, Have a good day. day. You're enjoying it. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys. Hey, hey you guys. <laughs> hey, you guys. <laughs> hey, that's what they all say. Hey, you guys. Hey, you guys.